Welcome to another video tutorial by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve and in this video tutorial we're going to be speaking about how to add a bleed to a document in Adobe Illustrator. So bleed is very important um, when you're designing a layout and you have any kind of colored boxes or photos going to the edge of your document you want to make sure that you allow for at least an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch extra hanging off the edge because when a printer cuts these stacks of papers you want to make sure they're cutting into that bleed and not more into your document to attain uh, that bleed meaning that you want to make sure that they're cutting into the document and the colors are going to the edge. You don't want to see any kind of white border around your document, especially if you have these beautiful images going to the edge. So if you're looking at the screen right now, you're going to notice that we have a trifold brochure and all three panels are bleeding to the edge. Uh, to break it down, the left panel is bleeding on the top, the left, the bottom. The middle panel is bleeding on the bottom. It's a light blue if you can see that. And on the right side, you're going to see bleeding at the top, the top right, the bottom right, and the bottom. So that's what's really going on with this document. It has bleed all over the place. Uh, in some cases, you might just have bleed on one side, but these same things we're going to do here are going to apply to that document also. Um, if you notice, you're going to see crop marks on this document. These are non-interactive crop marks. The way you get those, I'm going to take them off right now. But the way that you do get those is you're going to go to object and you're going to go to crop area and you're going to go to make. This is very important for one thing. It's good for a guide. Really, if, if, you, if you pull out your elements to these guides, it's going to be exactly one eighth of an inch extra. So that's the good thing about having these non-interactive crop marks. You know that when you move your bleed to these crop marks, it's... 100% an eighth of an inch. That's the standard on where the crop marks are in Illustrator. Perfect. So when saving your document, you need to make sure that these non-interactive crop marks are off. Hold on one second. Here we go. So we're going to do that by going to object again, crop area, and this time we're going to release it. So what it does is it actually creates a stroke of whatever your document size is. So if my document was eight and a half by 11, now I have this stroke going around the whole thing, which is eight and a half by 11. You can just hit delete. And now we're just gonna save this. And this is the most important thing. Make sure that those crop marks are off. Because if you try to save and add a bleed with those crop marks on, those non-interactive crop marks, you will never be able to save this. So we're gonna go to our desktop and we're gonna name this test PDF and we're gonna make sure that it says Adobe PDF. We're gonna hit save, all right. And if you have presets that you're normally accustomed to when you're saving PDFs, use your preset. I like to use high quality print. Um, I've never had any issues with it. Um, the one thing I do like to do is I do uncheck preserve illustrator editing capabilities because what's that? what that's gonna do is uh, it's still gonna produce a higher quality uh, file, but it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make it very hard to edit the actual PDF if you pulled it in Illustrator at another time, and it really cuts down the size of the file. So if you're gonna be emailing something directly, you know, attached to something in your email, this is the perfect thing to do. So uncheck that. This is that's my opinion, by the way. That's not that's not the right way to do it. That's not the wrong way to do it. That's how I do it all the time. So. We're going to now come to Marks and Bleeds, and we're just going to select Trim Marks. Uh, you can do registration, color bars, and other page information, um, but you know that's a little bit too much. I like to just stick with Crop Marks. You really should too, especially if you're sending it to a printer uh, that's going to be digitally printing this. They really don't care about the registration marks. Uh, these digital printers are very, very, very smart, and uh, they line everything up perfectly anyway. So. We're gonna come down to bleeds and we wanna make sure we add at least an eighth of an inch bleed on it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this arrow up once and since this is selected right here, uh, this is it's gonna apply the same for all. Uh, if you did in your document add a quarter of an inch bleed, you're just gonna do the same thing and, and, add a, and, and change it to 0.25, which is a quarter. So I did an eighth, so we're gonna come back down to an eighth. We're gonna save this PDF, all right? 
Now my PDF is saved and voila. There we are. We have a document that is ready to be sent to a printer. If you look on all four corners, the bleed is hanging out of the crop marks. So you go here, all this blue right here is getting cut off from, from here up and from here over. So that's how you add bleed guys. That's why it's important to add bleed. Um, you don't want those white borders. They're pesky. They're ugly looking. So Graphic Designer Tips is where it's at. My name is Steve once more, and uh, you guys got comments, questions, uh, feel free to leave them. We'd love to hear from you. All right, peace.